Today I'm going to review after what seems like many, many years, the Red Wing 8188 Pecos, the uh, Hawthorne Mule Skinner. Now, these boots I love so much that I actually bought three pairs. And I wore one pair just every day, uh, as you'll see, I'll show you later. And then the other pair, I try to do something different. So one pair, I had, like these, I left as is with a natural cork. And then the other pair, I put on a leather stack heel on those. And then the other pair, I just resold completely just to try something different so that they all weren't exactly the same. But let's just get into the details really quickly on this really cool, simple boot. This is a Red Wings Roper, Heritage Roper. And uh, it is a nine inch boot. And this is the same leather as the Iron Ranger 8113, which is now the 8083 in the uh, Hawthorne Mule Skinner. So the Red Wing Pecos, the Heritage Pecos, uh, were made for the, all the folks down south. In Minnesota, they're like, how do we get into that southern boot market of uh, those, those, uh, those cowboys down south? How do we get into that market? So they made these uh, for those uh, guys down south uh, working. And then these made it to on the feet of farmers, guys who working on oil rigs, um, ranchers, all enjoyed the uh, Pecos. And this is going back, you know, the early, early Pecos, not just, not these. This is talking like you know, the vintage ones that I have that I'll show you. Uh, Red Wing was like, we're going to tap into that market. So um, they decided to uh, make these for, for the boys down, down south. And they liked them. And uh, they kind of took off. And it makes sense. My, my grandfather had a pair. My grandfather worked at a, a steel mill. And he had a pair of pull-on boots that he wore every day. I, I believe they had a traction tread sole on his for comfort and then just pull on pull off which is just so easy um, i i have to tell you i have i have not worn a lace-up boot in a very long time if i did for maybe an audition or for uh, a, a fitting but on my personal just day-to-day -day, pull on boot all day every day a uh, very very simple Bill, very simple construction on this. This has the natural cork sole on here. Very comfortable. I'm trying to think because I've had this for such a while and I haven't done a red wing, red wing review in such a long time. There's no triple stitch on these if you, <laughs> on this boot. It's, um, this is not leather lined. This boot does have a canvas um, lining in the vamp. And it has just a simple, like, I don't, I'm, it's been such a long time since I've done a red wing. We got the pull straps on the Pecos. What else do we say about these? It's just really cool, simple construction. Um, I, if you remember when I went to, um, when I went to London, my goal was to actually buy these because I didn't have them because at that time I had pretty much everything that I could have wanted from Red Wing. And so uh, my goal was to pick these up in Europe. Um, I did not buy them in London because it was the pound and I didn't want to have to pay the pound. I wanted to pay the euro because that was a little bit, a little bit easier on my wallet paying the euro. So when I went to Amsterdam to get these, they were sold out. Womp, womp, didn't have my size. Now, these were extremely, extremely popular in Europe about, oh, five years ago, I would say at this point now. Mm. Yeah, four or five years ago. These were not in the States, um, I don't believe, but Red Wing makes all sorts of work Pecos. So you can, they do steel toe, very all different types of leathers uh, for those who wanted a pull, who want a pull on work boot. They do it with a super sole 
And then if you saw my 1178s, those are kind of like walking the line between the work and the heritage. Those, you can probably still order those. If you went to your local Red Wing, you may be able to order the 1178s and the 1158s, I believe is, is what they're called. You may be, you still may be able to get those, but these are, um, are probably only like eBay. I don't think Red, who knows, Red Wing's really not, who knows, Red Wing's doing their own thing. They're doing work. They're playing catch up on all their stuff. They're not really making any heritage stuff. Um, so uh, they, I doubt they're going to be making these anytime soon. But uh, you can find some work ones still around and definitely some heritage stuff all on eBay. And I really, I loved the Red Wing Peco so much at the time that I bought as many as I could and tracked down every single leather that they made in this boot. And uh, yeah, I can show you the photo right here. This is everything that I was trying to track down and I bought them all, everything that I possibly could. And then I've since uh, have sold some and I've given uh, uh, one pair away and sold the rest. And I think I still have just a few uh, left, but um, I don't wear them as much. Actually, these are like some pretty good dog walking shoes because just pull them on and head to the dog park or whatever. Uh, that's like a really good uh, for me, for now, for me, because I have now uh, real some Mercedes uh, that I, I prefer to wear their ropers, just the, uh, the build and, and the having the leather stack and the insert for comfort. I prefer those. But oh, let me show you the, the other ones. So what I did with the other ones I have here, which I have not worn at all, I ended up putting a resole on here with um, a green... What is this? This is the Dr. Soul non-slip original. This is the green. I, I think I've only wore these once just to see how they uh, feel and they're really comfortable. But yeah, I ended up doing that to the other pair, which is kind of cool having a green sole on there. Let's see if I can get this in focus for you. There we go. That green sole. Whoop that green sole on there. Red Wing should be doing some cool stuff like this instead of whatever else they're trying to do. <laughs> whatever else they're doing, they should be making some cool stuff. Green sole, uh, Hawthorne, uh, Pecos, instead of whatever they do. Uh, <laughs> they, gotta, they gotta catch up. They gotta catch up to, to what's cool. Um, what else can I say about these? I'm not gonna do an on feet because I have a bunch of on, um, outfits and how I style these over the years that I, I, I'm going to uh, show you and, and uh, put together for you guys. But just after many, many years, I neglected to, uh, to show these. And I think these are like a really good intro to, at least for me, these were like the intro to my uh, love for the Western boot. I started here early on and um, picked these up. And like I said, picked up every single one that I could. And then I went to that next level with uh, Luquese and uh, Rio Sur Mercedes. And um, Luquese is nice, but I feel like Rio Sur Mercedes, I like how they do, I, I've said this before in, in the review, I like how they do their sole and the insert, uh, just the comfort level. Um, but also like if you were, let's say if you, if you were to try these and then you went to a Luquese Roper, this Luquese Ropers would be very similar. Uh, they would have a nice narrow vamp and also they would do a leather, a full leather um, sole. I would definitely go Luquese Roper. I would not go to Cova Roper. I would skip over to Cova be better than Tacovas, for sure. Go Luquese. Spend the extra money. It's better quality. Trust me. Um, what else? What else do I say about these? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd say it's a great boot. It's, I, a lot of guys may, may be um, with the pull-on. I know uh, engineers, a lot of guys like engineers. This is uh, shorter than the engineer. The engineer is like 12. Uh, 11, 12 inch, this is a nine inch. It's easy to get get your pant leg, um, 
pant leg over. And um, oh, sizing, let's just do a quick sizing because people aren't, I know they're gonna ask me. Okay, so uh, the Heritage Pecos are in the E width because they're narrow. So I wear a nine, in, 9D in the mock toes, red wing mock toes, and I can wear a nine in the, in the blacksmiths. These are a 9E. So 9D mock toe, 9E pecos, okay? And it's cool if you, if you went with the 1178s or 1158s, 11, whatever those are, you can get, for those of you with the wide feet, you can get uh, uh, double, double E. They should be able to make those for you. You should, you should be able to order them. And they, um, I think mine came from, my 1178s I think came from Texas. Uh, they just drop shipped them to me. Um, so that's a plus. Oh, and then so, so what I'm going to review next will be the vintage uh, Red Wing Pecos that I was able to pick up. So stay tuned for that. I will review those next. But this is the 8188s in the Hawthorne Mule Skinner. Finally reviewing. Uh, I think that's it. I don't know what else to say. It's been a while since I've done one of these Red Wing reviews. So I'm not gonna do an on feet, but I'll just show you some of the outfits that I put together over the years with this beautiful 8188. Check it out. That is the Red Wing 8188 Pecos in the Hawthorne Mule Skinner. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time with the vintage Pecos that I found. Be a boot. See you guys next time.